Well, hello once again, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Goose. And uh, we're back on our farm here in North Brabant Province, and uh, I am still in the midst of potato harvesting, as you can see, and uh, just taking some potatoes via a shortcut over to the uh, animal pen here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get some earth fruit in with our pigs and our beef uh, just to see if that elevates the uh, production speeds things up a little bit so we're just gonna pull in here and uh, dip off some potatoes and uh, go ahead and get that done Ooh, need to get some weight on the front of this thing I was wondering why it was all over the place. Let's put some weights on the front. There we go. So I haven't really done anything since we last left off. Maybe I, I might have uh, worked in the field maybe another uh, 20 minutes. And uh, put some more, you know, put, harvested a little bit more. But we're still in the same field. And uh, continue to harvest potatoes so that'll be this episode will be continuing potatoes are really slow going uh, as are sugar beets so if you do them uh, keep that in mind because it does take quite a long time uh, to do them so we'll look at our production real quick and uh, now that we've got those in there I want to look at our production I meant to look at it before I added that in uh, but uh, yeah pigs um it we've got four pigs three fattened chickens and four beef now our production's been around a hundred percent what i'm looking for is now that we've added the potatoes in i'm looking to see if our production goes up to 110 percent and if uh we don't get uh more beef and and pigs uh fattened up over time and I'm going to cut across here. Yeah, yeah, well, we own all this property, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to run out to the chicken facility as well and dump some over there. And we'll see if that doesn't help them out as well. Um, it's funny to me that it would, but it's... Uh, but I think it's part of the game. And I think to get to 110% productivity, you have to have all the elements in place. And so that's what today's little experiment is going to be, is if we go ahead and add in the potatoes to each of our fattening facilities, if we get up to 110% productivity, which that, of course, means uh, more fattening faster. So... As you can see, we got quite a bit of potatoes now already in there, and we still have a lot of harvesting to do. So let's just head over here to our facility and dump these off to the chickens, and then we'll get back to harvesting. I hope everybody had a great weekend and um, if you're watching these videos at a later date yeah this was made uh, for the weekend so all right get around through here I did some video uh, changes to my video card and it's made uh, it's made my controls crazy it's either that or I did update drive control. I did update drive control and the new version of drive control. Um, a lot of people have been having issues with uh, who play with a gamepad. And I'll give you this heads up. Uh, if you do update drive control to the new version, uh, one thing you need to do is, of course, you need to... Uh, delete out your previous config before you put in the new version of drive control uh, that way you just don't have any conflicts or anything else like that 
let the new version of drive control write a new config. The second thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you go in under settings uh, at the very beginning of the game when you first launch you get to the credit screen uh, go into your options and under the settings for your controller make sure you rechange your dead zone back to somewhere around 16 18 if you don't you'll be all over the place and I think that's what this is I think I have my dead zone a little bit too low and uh, so I'm all over the place a little bit you want to rechange your dead zone because drive control has a function in it that's basically a steering assist and uh, I don't remember the exact name of it right off hand but it sets the Z zone to zero to help people with computers that are playing keyboard mouse it's to help them um, basically have adaptive steering that's a little a little bit better um, so they're not all over the you know they're not having as much of a an issue when they're clicking keys to steer but when it changes that to zero uh, it really messes with you if you're playing on a uh, on a gamepad so keep that in mind you do want to go ahead and change that dead zone and ramp it up back to where you were I would suggest that prior to doing drive control in installing drive control that you uh, go ahead and go into your options look at what your dead zone is for your joystick or you know your gamepad go ahead and make a note of it and that way uh, when you do get into the game or when you do do your update you'll know where you were at previously uh, it will help you out quite a bit so this is uh we're still running 31 33 for our our potatoes so we'll load in this course this guy's still gonna dump for us and with that loaded I'll just set four wheel drive activated settings should stay the same speeds good uh, he's going to be searching for the Grimme Tektron. Everything else should be set. So I'll just have him drive course. He'll go sit over here. And I'm going to run over here and fire up this behemoth. And we'll get back to uh, harvesting some potatoes. I know that's probably uh, not what you wanted to see today or uh, two episodes of harvesting potatoes might not be what you want to see but hey it's uh, what's got to get done in the field right now so it's kind of where we're at we got potatoes to harvest I got two more fields to get done uh, before we can move forward now I do have some other fields planted that will become harvestable and um, for wheat so at some point I'm gonna have to go get into those as well and get those harvested so yeah and then we've got the silage in the BGA just about done uh, as soon as that is ready we can go over there and harvest it uh, Sven is still on his tractor mowing away and getting uh, getting everything taken care of with grass loading up the BGA and we're just about got that uh, second bunker all the way full so uh, we'll be compacting that down and getting that ready to ferment alright let's make our turn here back up just a little bit there we go all right and we'll just continue to harvest these potatoes hey so uh great week uh, on the channel I want to thank everybody who has subscribed this week I picked up uh, just over 100 subscribers this week and I can't tell you guys how much that means I appreciate it 
uh, very much. Glad to have you on board, and I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, please feel free to comment uh, during the week. I will uh, respond to you as uh, usually I get back to you that day. Uh, I try to hit, hit the comment section every day and respond to everybody who comments, uh, as well as I'll address some of the comments in the videos as we go along. And, uh, yeah. So, but I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the videos. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously, buddy. You gotta learn. That's the one thing with course play, though. It's, uh... It doesn't quite figure out that it's not the priority. Get this guy unloading. But yeah, it's, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We did some new videos this week on uh, some different things. Uh, I've got some videos this week. We'll continue on uh, some other gameplay uh, as well as Farming Sim. But Farming Sim is my go-to. It's my main focus. I do try to get a Farming Sim video up every day uh, regardless of what it is. Maybe it's a tutorial or a mod review or it's just gameplay but I do try to get a farming sim video up uh, every day it is my focus my priority uh, but I do play other games uh, just to keep farming sim from getting boring um, and you guys I'm sure you know about that and I'm sure you don't only play one video game uh, so I do play a variety of video games and as I find things that are interesting I like to pass those along and uh, maybe it's something you'll find interesting as well. So uh, we'll continue with the fishing stuff and the hunting um, and play those games as well as, uh, as the farming sim. But we'll stick with farming sim. Uh, a couple little updates this week. The lime spreader that I, uh, that I did the review on, uh, the developer Turbo has uh, notified me that he's made revisions to it uh, as I mentioned in the video some of the things that I had pointed out that needed to be tweaked uh, he's actually tweaked those and let me know about it which uh, is awesome to uh, to know that you've got folks like him listening to the comments that you're making and they're actually responding uh, it's good to know because uh, that way we're getting better mods and uh, folks are are putting out things that that we will enjoy playing and uh, but he's tweaked um, he's tweaked the store so the text is in the store properly as well as uh, he made a small tweak to the to the lime spreader itself it now has a little bit of lime dust on the tires uh, I think he changed the hub color from that lime green to uh, something a little more neutral uh, like a gray or, or something like that um, so yeah, uh, check that out if you get a chance. I'll probably do a small quick update video on that uh, this week. Just pointing out the small changes for folks um, who may not see that. Ooh, getting a little dizzy here. And uh, yeah, so this week on this farm, uh, we are going to be harvesting the potatoes. We're going to get a little BGA work done and harvest the wheat we're going to purchase a little bit new equipment uh, including the lime spreader uh, we'll be purchasing that and putting it into our farm uh, that way we'll actually be doing uh, an actual fertilizing process with lime instead of the what the game spreader does uh, it's going to take a lot longer to fertilize the fields and it's going to be probably more costly uh, simply because it'll we'll have to refill the lime spreader a lot more, but uh, it's going to be something that is a bit more realistic and uh, will add to the gameplay. So um, at the end of the day, that's what I'm looking for and uh, trying to make things look right. Unlike that nice five-point turn I just did. So yeah, what else is happening? Been playing a little zombie shooter this week with uh, 
Raven and Deputy P and uh, Landy Kid. We checked out uh, Aftermath this week. Very interesting game. Um, pretty well done, actually. It's uh, along the lines of DayZ and uh, some other games. So I've been playing that a little bit. And uh, it's not anything I'm going to do any video on because, honestly, uh, my computer is having some issues with... Um, with playing it. I uh, I upgraded my video card recently but I have not updated processor or motherboard and uh, that game points out that I have a little bit of a bottleneck uh, so I'm not getting the performance out of my video card that uh, that I want and so it's not really working for me there. Come on dude you need to drive on. Oh well Let's tell him to drive on. If you get stuck in a situation like this where you need to get him to move, just hit send driver home and he'll go drive his route. And uh, you can do your thing. Yeah, once he drives all over the top of your potatoes, you can continue to harvest. So yeah, messed around with that. Messed around with the fishing game this week. And um, played a little bit of the Hunter. No multiplayer. There is one little multiplayer video up if you haven't seen it on Landy Kids site. Uh, I, I'll throw a little thing in my Twitter feed up about it. But uh, um, Landy, Recon, and myself got together and did a little goose shooting the other night. And I didn't even think to record. Uh, when we were doing it because it was just for fun and um, but man that's a lot of fun calling in the geese and uh, and then shooting them is awesome and it's one of those things that's really a lot more fun with uh, multiple people in the blind because uh, when you're calling and trying to get the call done and get ready to shoot and try and get on target that's a little taxing but uh, if one person just focuses on doing the calling and getting the birds to come in and land or getting them to light so you can shoot them man that's just fun um, we had a blast and like I said there's some video on uh, Landy's channel and uh, if you want to go check that out and speaking of Twitter if you guys haven't followed already or I am trying to do daily updates on Twitter uh, and uh, been posting some pictures of different screenshots of games that I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, and, and I'm trying to evolve that as well to be more of uh, just kind of daily updates as uh, you know as I go along. Um, maybe just mention some of the stuff I'm doing that I'm not actually putting videos out on. So. Uh, if you want to follow that, there's a link to the Twitter feed as well as my Facebook page um, down in the show notes. And uh, that way, uh, just provide a little more information. Anytime I hear anything about uh, Farming Sim, like maybe the update for the patch, uh, we'll let you know about that as well. Um, supposedly, there is a patch coming. Uh, which is 1.3. Uh, I was talking with a modder uh, this past week, and he was telling me that one of the issues he was having with a mod, supposedly Giants had let him know that that would probably be resolved in the next patch. Um, which, if they're talking about a patch, that must mean the patch is maybe near. Everybody keeps saying it should be out any day now, but... Um, I've learned with patches, patches don't necessarily come when you think they're going to come. They just come whenever. Uh, but it would be nice to see a patch come out and resolve some issues that are in the game. And yeah, hopefully that will come out soon. Not that the game performs terribly, but there are just a few things here and there that could be worked on. 
fixed and made a little bit better. Uh, and I'm sure all of you who've played the game have experienced little things here and there that that you'd like to see corrected and hope they get corrected in the next patch. Physics is one of them. Um, uh, the issue with the header on the trailer sliding across the the map would be awesome if they would fix that uh, so I could actually leave a header on a trailer instead of having to uh, instead of having to put it on the ground every single time I use it let's get this off screen I hate that I love you course play but you're annoying sitting there in my face all day Alright, here comes this dude, so we'll unload some potatoes into him. Fifty percent might be a little early for him to come and empty on potatoes, uh, especially since he has a tendency to get in the way. Uh, Eighty percent might be better. I know when I do the, the sugar beet harvesting, I think I've got it set for seventy percent, but that's when I have it fully automated. And uh, and in all honesty, course play when you have it fully automated, uh, when the harvester and the tipper are heart are um, automated, it works a lot better because course play does signal its turning maneuver to the um, to the tipper. And if you're not familiar what that is, as the harvester approaches the end of a a row it sends out a turning maneuver signal that says hey I'm making a turn back off and the vehicle will actually break off uh, the tipper will actually stop or break off allow the combine or harvester to make its turn and then re and then the tipper will reacquire the harvester um, it would be awesome if that was available in the manual controls for course play because there you know like I said there are times when I enjoy doing this I enjoy actually manually running the uh, the harvester I don't always enjoy just trailing behind and emptying it uh, there's times when I enjoy sitting in the combine and just going along and combining the field but I don't have as enough control over my my AI that's doing the dumping it would be nice to have something here that said you know turn maneuver which you have it if you're recording a course if you're recording a course it gives you the ability to set turning maneuvers but if you had it under combine controls uh, it would be pretty nice as well because then you could say get out of my way I'm making a turn But you do have the, of course, you do have the controls available to stop him. Um, you know, as I say that, you have the ability to go in and realize that, well, I'm getting to the end of my row. I can just stop him dead in his tracks. Let him stop. You can make your turn. But let's say he's on the inside of the field right here. If I stop him, he's going to be right in front of me when I make the turn. So the turning maneuver would actually tell him, you know, get out of the way. But, you know, hats off to course play, though, it, as it is, because it's a it's a game changer. It's it's your must have mod. If you don't have it, uh, then you really are a glutton for punishment and enjoy doing everything manually, which recon's one of those guys. He does everything manually uh, other than he'll use the in-game hired help. He will not use course play, um, which is amazing to me uh, how you play without it um, baffles me but to each his own right um, that's the way he likes to play and uh, I don't have anything against him for playing that way but uh, I like the automation uh, I actually love it when you automate like five six workers when you've got two or three combines going and a couple of trucks 
unloading those combines and everything's working beautifully uh, it's kind of cool so I'm gonna go ahead and as I said he's gonna get right in the way right here so I'm gonna stop him let myself make my turn and then I'm gonna let him come to me at that point because if I actually I'm gonna leave him stopped I'm gonna make a full pass and uh, then I'm gonna come back and let him unload me because I'm only like 40% right now or I mean 50% but well, we could actually run it way on up he doesn't have that much potato in him he's he's got 41% inside of there which is I guess if I let him come after I finish this row uh, we'll be okay but yeah if you've never used course play in this fashion where you drive the harvester and you let the AI or course play handle the uh, the tipping uh, you you do have a little bit of control over them using the combine controls you can actually stop start him uh, so you can keep him out of your way and if you don't want him to to go into the field when the pipes on the field side uh, you can control that as well so right now I can go ahead and start him and let him roll on up on me and I'll just come on over here as I approach and he'll make his maneuver to get behind me and I'll probably end up filling him up with this load I do love course play. I'll just run to the end here and if I'm not unloaded all the way out I will just stop let him get everything out and then we'll send him on his way. He's 87 percent no use in having him just sit here. We'll send him on his way. How do we want to do this now? I don't want to do these small passes, so I'm just going to turn and we'll run to the north on these rows. And we'll finish up this little piece of this field. And then we can move the whole operation to the next field and get started. And the nice thing about it is the next field, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to reset my course for uh, for my hired help. All I have to do is just resume uh, harvesting on the next field because he's already set uh, to monitor both fields because the way the course was laid out, which is nice. Uh, also this week I might do a little video um, on another part of the Apple mod uh, over the weekend Mr. Rosenthaler put out another version of the Apple mod uh, to include olives uh, grapes and what other fruit one other tree oh peaches peaches olives and um, and grapes which I think grapevines would be cool uh, so we'll probably do a little video on that I haven't messed with it at all and we'll take a look at it one thing I want to point out and it is something I ran into this week um, with the Apple mods and if you do any if you like those and you like the idea of adding the fruit trees one error you may run into and I've run into it a couple of times recently looking at maps 
uh, and I've had to rechange the way I do my map reviews. Um, I used to just put them in my stock folder and and just do the review. Now I had to create an actual mods folder with the bare minimum number of mods uh, and just put the maps in there. But um, if you try and run a map that has multi fruit on it and you also have all the Rosenthalers in there uh, with the multi with all the different uh, Apple mods you might run into an issue loading the map if the map hangs up and won't load uh, chances are there's too many too many fruits listed I uh, ran into that a couple of times this week uh, Ravens run into that issue and what we finally figured out was um, with multi with some of the multi fruit maps that list a whole lot of multi fruit uh, you know the the standard in-game grains as well as uh, the fruit that you're getting as well as uh, produce it's it's too many you can only have 64 in the game um, so it, it causes a causes a little conflict there uh, so keep that in mind if you have that in you may have to take out uh, the apple mod if you you might not be able to use it if you've got a map with a whole bunch of multi fruit um, and keep in mind that a pig is considered a fruit in this game anything any kind of product that you have that is harvestable uh, the game views that as a fruit uh, it's something that has to be calculated to go into something else um, and so it only allows you 64 so grass hay straw all that is considered a fruit uh, in the eyes of giants so if you've got you you might think well geez apple you know eight fruits and eight grains that's only 16 you know well keep in mind chaff is considered a fruit silage is considered a fruit tmr is considered a fruit so everything that you have adds up uh, to create that 64 and if you go over the 64 number um, you're not going to be able to load the map so uh, keep that in mind if you are playing around with uh, Apple mod which I absolutely love and I and I enjoy having it on the maps uh, I would gladly give up soy beans and oats and barley you know I would give up some add-on grains to have the fruit uh, because I just I like that that's a cool aspect to the farm um, maybe one day in a patch giant will increase the number of, uh, of fruits you can have from 64 to something a little bit higher because there's so many cool mods out uh, with bread and uh, beer and all those other things uh, that it would be cool if they would go ahead and up that number from 64 to you know a hundred uh, so that you could incorporate a lot of stuff into your map. It would be nice to be able to play a map for a long, long time by adding in extra mods to it to increase the gameplay and uh, not have to change maps every time you turn around because you're bored with it because the only things you can do are the standard stuff. You know, if I could take find a map I really like and be able to add in you know everything in the world to it uh, and just play that one map for a long time that would be awesome man I drive this thing like a maniac don't I all over the place with it I haven't managed uh, I haven't really mastered my turns in this thing I'm getting lots of practice I don't drive first person that often. I think that's one of the reasons why I have issues with it. Is uh, trying to gauge where I'm at on my turns and make sure that I'm getting them right. Part of it's letting off the gas while you're doing it. Alright, this field is just about done. Just a couple of more little passes and we'll uh, move straight across and hit... Uh, 33 I think is the number on that one 
And what my plan is to do with it is to mow the perimeter a couple of times or harvest the perimeter a couple of times. Once I get that done, then I'm going to automate it. That way I can come and uh, do some other things myself uh, while it is being harvested. Uh, because obviously we have this field to plow. Uh, we'll have the BGA to harvest. And um, we'll be looking at a lot of wheat to harvest as well. So we might have two operations going on soon enough. Uh, we might have this guy doing a uh, little hired help doing this. And then have, uh, yeah, all right. So this field looks pretty clean. So we can move on. And what we'll do is uh, we'll run over here to this far corner. Oh, I see a little bit we can pick up on the way. Pick up that one little plant there. Um, but yeah, we'll... Uh, possibly be doing a lot more uh, in the next couple of episodes because uh, like I said if we look at our map right now I should have wheat just about ready to go yeah they're in their final stages of growth right now so these guys are going to be harvested this guy's done this guy's just starting to turn so we need that potato field to turn as well all right, so we're going to massage this right here a little bit so we can get into this field. Make a little room so I get my harvester in here. I'm trying to be somewhat realistic with this in the sense of I'm not going to back the harvester into the fence. Unlike the other day when I backed the harvester into the tower in the middle of the field. That's the reason I'm just kind of chipping away at this right here. Get an area where I can get in here and now turn it and set up on this outside edge. Without running the pipe in the tree. Alright, there we go. We're off and cooking on this field. And we'll get this guy started to harvest. Now there's two things I can do with this field to automate it. I can, I can mow it myself. Uh, I can go around it. And do the few perimeter lines and then I can turn it into course play or I can turn the auto sniffers on uh, and use uh, auto combine and let it run around the field and do it that way either way I could get this field harvested I could cut my perimeter uh, and then bring course play in to handle the rest of it I wonder if that actually clips that tree or if it goes yeah, that tree would need to come down. Of course, I can't cut those trees down. If I could, they'd already be gone. And this would be one big, giant field. But I can see now that we need to do the perimeter of this field with the pipe on the inside. Uh, otherwise, it's going to hit all these trees around the field. So we'll change that. As much as I wanted to do it with the pipe on the outside, I'm going to have to move that. There's Dum Dum. Let's stop him. Uh oh. I think I'm stuck. I wonder if I got four wheel drive on this. 
Uh, do yay. Somehow I got stuck here. There we go. Bingo, we're across. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back the opposite direction here, which I hate having my pipe in the field, but it's unavoidable at this point. So we'll do that, and we'll tell Dum Dum to come and load us here in a minute. See if we can get as full as we can before we let him come. So we'll just cut one perimeter line with the pipe on the inside, then we'll flip around and put the pipe uh, back on the outside. And then once I get a couple of rows done where I'm happy with it, we'll set up course play to, uh, to clean this field. And that way we can go focus on a few other activities that we need to do. Now with everything dried up, at some point we need to go um, seed another three or four fields. Uh, I'd like to be getting those seeded prior to harvesting the wheat. So that when we finish the wheat, we can move straight into the next set of fields. So we do need to be, honestly, I need to be... At this point, automating the harvesting and focusing on seeding myself on the rest of the fields because um, we're getting the operation up to the size where we could do that. So I had to take a real quick step away for just a second. I'm catching back up to where we were. My, uh, my doorbell rang while I was recording. And uh, so I had to go answer that and check out what was going on. Um, yeah. It's funny how nobody bothers me until I hit record uh, and then the phone wants to ring, people want to chat, and unexpected visitors want to show up at the house. It's, uh, hello, trying to get a little work done here. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to harvesting this guy. As I was saying before, um, it's getting to the point where we could probably be uh, automating a little bit more and um, that way I could be getting the fields sowed while some harvesting's getting done. Uh, but I might, you know, I might be a little bit overreaching on that. I'm going to have to watch that. I don't want to spend too much money um, paying wages out uh, to hired help uh, when, in all honesty, maybe we could be doing the stuff itself. It, it'll just see what the balancing act is of how much work can we get done ahead of you know the fields being harvested because honestly they don't take that long to harvest they take about an hour in game to get all of them done uh, or two or three done uh, and they take about what 12, 14 hours in game to to grow so maybe we don't need to do that maybe we just keep it uh, where it's at sun's starting to uh, to creep in on us forget when we rented this guy I'll look in a second after we make this turn and see how many hours we have to see whether we're going to need to work straight through the evening or not. I prefer not to. I prefer to shut down operations for six, seven hours and then come back. But at the same time, we are on the clock here and have to uh, get these two fields harvested uh, before we lose the machinery because we can't afford to pay another thirty eight thousand dollars just to uh harvest one field somewhere around that thirty six thirty eight thousand dollars i forget the exact number i 
is right around there. But it's much better than spending the $450,000 to to purchase the unit just to do a little bit of potato. In honesty, this is all the potato we would ever need on this uh, on this operation. Um, we could sell some and still be able to to feed the animals that we're going to uh, have because this is going to give us quite a bit of potato. I haven't even begun to look at how much we've harvested so far. We had 21 hours remaining, so we've only had this thing for three, well, actually for two hours and 15 minutes we've had this thing. So uh, we have plenty of time remaining on it, so it might be a situation where we do take a break and then come back which means it took us two hours and 15 minutes in game to uh to harvest that one field that's pretty sad um yeah okay this dude needs to drive send him home so that we can make our turn here and we're gonna go ahead and get the pipe outside now and yeah we'll be ready to move forward with this so let's uh let's take a look and see how much we've actually accumulated so far in potato off of that one field uh we've got 243,000 liters of potato off of that one field uh so we'll end up with uh off of three somewhere around 600,000 maybe uh that'd be awesome It'll be quite a bit of potato, and um, we'll see if we can't get a, a great demand on potato. It would be awesome. Now that we got some. All right, so we'll continue on with this. Uh, I did not note at what time I started this, and with a little interruption, I'm not even sure where I'm at recording-wise. Um, but, um, yeah, what I may do is just, uh, stop this right here. We'll take a look at a couple of things and then, uh, we may wrap this video up. Uh, we're also going to need to feed the chickens and check on our beef and, and, uh, pigs to make sure they've got enough feed in them. Uh, we may have to do that in an episode. Uh, to go refeed and restock those guys. I really should lift the head when I'm doing all of this maneuvering. Uh, but, you know, that's an added little step. Alright. Moving on with digging up potatoes. It's, um... It's a long process, isn't it? I could do, like I said, I could do a week or two worth of videos just producing this manually. If I sat here and just harvested these by myself with the little dude coming along and tipping uh, 30, 45 minute videos, yeah, we'd be here for, for a couple of weeks. Um, but probably going to do a little bit more of this and then automate it and then we'll move over to the uh, move along to something else because I think two videos on potato harvesting is probably enough for you guys probably 15 minutes of potato harvesting was enough for you guys but <laughs> oh it is what it is gotta do it but again it's like I said last week in uh, when we were doing Manchester the things that I find boring I find people actually enjoy watching um, so I could be wrong you guys could be enjoying uh, seeing the first person and potato harvesting uh, whereas I think it's just boring um, you guys might actually like it and enjoy it I never know unless you guys uh, throw a comment up there and let me know uh, what you guys want to see what you guys like uh, do you enjoy the videos where we just sit here 
and process everything uh, step by step. I don't know what you what you enjoy. Uh, if you want to just see highlights of doing this and that, or if you actually want to see, you know, step by step each process how it goes. Uh, do you like it when? Does it irritate you when I do a bunch of work off screen and come in and say, oh, well, I harvested four fields and uh, got us to this point? Or do you like to see that where I do a little bit of the work on camera and then, you know, go harvest the next section off camera and catch us up to where all of the process has been done? Where I just, okay, I harvested one field on camera, I harvested the other three off. And, uh, now we're on to the next step, which is plowing and seeding and something like that. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. So comment uh, for me in here and let me know what you guys like. Um, because again, that's the only way I know what to produce uh, video-wise for you guys, uh, content-wise, is by you, you telling me uh, what you enjoy watching. And uh, that way I can make these better and more entertaining and fulfilling for you uh, at the same time as while I do the uh, the gameplay because uh, the gameplay is the same for me I got to do the work uh, it's just how much of it do I record for you to watch uh, in these videos that I post for you on a daily basis so uh, definitely want your feedback your opinion matters and I appreciate that so Anyways, I'm going to make this turn here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue to massage the perimeter of this and get it set up. And uh, in the next video, we'll automate this. Uh, so once we get enough of it, I need like two more rows around here. So I'll get those two rows done and uh, I'll set it up for the Once that's done, I'll set it up for automation in the next video and we'll go work on something else. Um, in the video unless you tell me otherwise alright guys thanks for watching hope you've uh, enjoyed the video if you did leave a like uh, thanks again for everybody who subscribed this week uh, it's awesome guys uh, I never envisioned this channel getting 200 subs um, and uh, you guys make it worth getting uh, a video up every day it takes a lot of work but I, I don't mind doing it when I know uh, I got people watching every day and appreciate it. So uh, thank you again for the subs and uh, keep watching new videos every day. And uh, I appreciate you being with me. Until the next time, stay safe. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. And if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.